Okay, we're back again. Tim Casey's joined us again. Pete's still away. Uh, what are we going to be doing today, Tim? Today we're going to be doing a grilled Mediterranean vegetable platter, which is going to be a great opportunity for you to use local ingredients and support your local farmers markets. We're going to have a wonderful uh, tabbouleh salad. Uh, we're going to make some more, our own fresh hummus. Uh, we got pita chips and olives and uh, great feta cheese uh, to go to combine with that. And it, it's really nice uh, to have the freshness, the, the real local vegetables, and bringing it together with these Mediterranean flavors. Uh, I think is, is a real healthful aspect uh, to, the, to the whole thing. Using the olive oil is definitely uh, a health benefit, and using all fresh ingredients is definitely better than using uh, previously produced vegetables. Right, so and then to bring it all together, that the platter will be our appetizer and then we're going to make our own fresh homemade gar uh, garden burgers, the vegetable burgers. Um, and they're really simple to do. They're very easy to make and once we show you how to do them, you'll be doing them quite often at home yourself. And with that, with the, ve with the vegetable burgers, you get lots of whole grains, you get lots of fresh vegetables and some, some real nice flavors combined in there. And on our charcoal grill, uh, they really pop out. Chocolate makes everything better, in my opinion. All right, Dave, let's start grilling the vegetables. All right, beautiful. What are you going to do to get those ready for the grill? I usually just throw a little olive oil on them like this. Beautiful. Some salt and pepper for seasoning. Yeah. And put them right on the charcoal grill. And peppers roast nice uh, whole like that? Absolutely. All right, you get those on. I'm going to start mixing our tabbouleh real quick. And a lot of these things are, uh, a lot of these uh, preparations, you know, minus the grilled vegetables, uh, the tabbouleh and the hummus I'm going to show you can actually get prepped a day ahead of time and uh, you know to, to save you a little bit of time putting the picnic together. The main part, main ingredient in tabbouleh is uh, cracked bulgur wheat. Okay and what this is is simply a very very fine grain and very very easy to uh, to prepare. All you have to do is take uh, hot water, boiling water, uh, about twice as much uh, boiling water as you have bulgur and pour that over and let it sit and steep, okay? And the, the uh, grain of uh, bulgur comes out nice and fluffy uh, and you don't even have to go to the stove, okay? To that, we're gonna add our cucumbers, our fine chopped diced cucumbers, some fine diced tomatoes, and parsley, chopped parsley, a little salt, a little pepper, freshen it up nicely with, a, with the juice of a fresh lemon. Just give that a squeeze right in there. It's another really nice colorful dish you're making over there. Yes, it's all about eating, eating foods that are nice and colorful. Colors, col a lot of colors mean a lot of good flavors. I'm also gonna put some extra virgin olive oil the kids don't realize it's healthy when it's nice and colorful like that. I don't think that people spend enough time grilling on charcoal, especially with vegetables. Fresh vegetables on the grill are just fantastic. They absorb the, voice, the um, nice smoky flavor. They look great on the grill. And you can use them in multiple applications. Right, and, and the charcoal, it, it burns for quite a long time, yeah? It does. So. But unlike briquettes, it burns very, very high heat, so you need to be careful and you need to be vigilant over your fire. Okay, Tim, so yours continuing to grill those vegetables. I'm gonna get going here with the hummus and another whole um, uh, bean here, chickpeas or garbanzo beans. We're just gonna slip those into our food processor. All of them right in there, nice big batch. The other main ingredient, tahini paste. This is the paste of sesame seeds that ground have been up. toasted and ground up. So that's gonna go right in the food processor and give it a nice shot of fresh lemon juice. Also gonna give it some salt and pepper. Getting a nice char on these peppers here. Excellent, it smells great. Thank you. You're welcome. Also gonna put some olive oil straight into the blender too to start it out. Get the top on there. And basically we want to puree this into a, a nice paste. You uh, ever flavor hummus any differently than just, uh, you know, just the chickpeas or anything else you Sure, I, I use roasted red pepper sometimes. You could use any kind of a, a roasted grilled vegetable. 
You could use Chipotle's, you could use all sorts of different things. I think your imagination is the only thing that holds you back. Right, so I'm um, adding the oil, some more olive oil, little by little, just so we get the right consistency on the hummus. This is a, as you can, this is a very quick preparation. As soon as we get the right consistency with the oil, it'll be all done. I think hummus is one of those things that's just, is always a big hit at a party. But again, it seems intimidating to make, but it's just so simple. Right, very, very simple and it's good for you. And you know, it, it chips and dip, pita chips, and you know, as a, as a nice side dip or, you know, a nice side dip with uh, vegetables. Great, and it's great for you. All right, so now just a, one more shot of oil, and we will be all done. Looks great. All right. Excellent, that's all there is to it. Take this off. Oh, yeah. Taste it, make sure you season it. Exactly. Mm. Good stuff? Nice. All right. All right, we have the hummus all set. It's time to move on to the main event. You mean the veggie burgers, Dave? I absolutely do. Let's all right. go. And simply what I'm starting off with here in the bowl is some cooked barley, uh, some crushed up garbanzo beans. And garbanzo beans, I always buy them in the can. Uh, there's, there's no really uh, uh, product difference whether you're cooking them yourself, which is a very long process, or if you buy them in the can already cooked. I find that completely acceptable. So the garbanzo beans are mashed up. Uh, I said the barley, and we also have some of that cracked bulgur wheat that we use for the tabbouleh right. in here. And uh, what I have here is some sauteed uh, celery, carrots, and onions. We're gonna mix this all together. All right, that can go right in the bowl. Excellent. It's another one of the advantages of using lump charcoal is that you can actually saute things right on the grill. So. The next few ingredients we have, uh, the next uh, interesting things that I wanted to point out to you is we have uh, garbanzo bean flour, okay? So that's gonna help kind of bind everything together. We also have some cooked quinoa. This is an another type of whole grain, uh, one of the ancient grains. Um, we also have some finely diced roasted butternut squash for some flavor, uh, different uh, texture, and some soy sauce to put in there for flavor as well. So I'm gonna start with the quinoa. And these are all things that you can find in your local supermarket nowadays. A lot of these things that used to be specialty items are now common in a lot of the stores. Basically, what's holding this vegetable burger together uh, completely, you have all the starch, you have the starches and the whole grains in there. Uh, that's gonna help a little bit, the garbanzo beans because they're mashed up. And also this garbanzo bean flour is gonna help hold everything together. So when we put them on the grill, they, uh, they, don't, fall apart. they don't fall apart, exactly. And I'm, as you can see, I'm making quite a big batch here. That's because uh, we put all this work in, um, make a nice big batch at a time, we'll form them and shape them, and whatever we don't use today, we can throw right into the freezer and have them you know, come right out and, and go right onto the grill. Perfect. Okay, so we're starting to form our patties now, Tim. And the nice thing about this is there's no egg, there's no other products except vegetable products in here, so it's a completely vegan vegetable burger, packed with whole grains, lots of fiber, some nice colors, lots of different textures. It looks so great. I'll get a couple of these made up and you can pop them right on the grill. What I'm gonna do is just lightly oil the grill so the vegetable burgers don't stick. Excellent. We'll put these right on now. Sounds good. Look like they're gonna stay together nice and... Yep. They hold up very well on the grill. They actually make a sear just like a regular hamburger would when you put it on the grill. Good, those look beautiful. So those are gonna take a few minutes to grill? Probably gonna take about two or three minutes on each side, but seeing how all the ingredients are already cooked, you don't have to worry about it being raw. You can eat them. Yeah, so we're just putting the grill marks on, heating them through, basically. Correct. Excellent, excellent. Now that our grilled vegetable burgers are done, the last thing I like to do is toast the rolls. So just throw them off to the side just a little bit so they don't burn. 
they get a nice little char on them. And we also have some nice whole grain uh, rolls there to go with it to kind of tie everything together too, right? Lots of fiber. Excellent. All right, so what we've done here, we've finished off our uh, Mediterranean platter and dressed it up a little bit, added some other uh, side items to it. So we have our homemade hummus, our wonderful fresh tabbouleh, our nice uh, grilled uh, vegetables, the peppers, the two types of peppers, summer squash, zucchini, uh, eggplant. Uh, we also have some beautiful olives, diff two different types of olives, nice uh, fresh feta cheese, and some toasted pita chips. And all these recipes uh, that even though we didn't uh, produce them here on the show, all the recipes are still are going to be on our website uh, for the hospital. So you can find all these recipes to make this complete platter and the vegetable burgers on the website. Great. All right, you ready to get plated up here? Yeah, starving. All right, well, we start with the vegetable burgers. Beautiful, nice and toasted. There we go. Oh. A nice little grill on there. All right. You know, I'm normally a, a plain meat eating hamburger type of guy, but I have to tell you, these these look very interesting. All right. And now we help ourselves to the platter. I like to get a little scoop of this hummus right on top of my veggie burger. I can get some peppers. I love a little feta cheese. I'm gonna keep mine straightforward, just peppers. All right. All right, Dave, this is the moment of truth. Let's Here dig in. I have to say, yeah, I'm quite impressed. Another great recipe. I never thought vegetables could be so good. Exactly. All right. So that wraps up this one. I think another successful one. Keep on hitting them out of the park. All right. Yeah, thanks, Thank Dave. you. Thank you for viewing this episode of Men in Aprons. This Mediterranean inspired picnic is an excellent example of how easy it is to prepare a tasteful and nutritious vegetarian meal. More than one third of all calories consumed today by Americans are from solid fats and added sugars. The 2010 dietary guidelines recommend we eat less added sugars, solid fats, including trans fats, refined grains, and sodium. Eating vegetarian meals at least once a week or more will help you achieve the new dietary guidelines goal of more whole grains, fruits, and vegetables in your diet. The veggie burger recipe that Dave chose to prepare is the house recipe for the veggie burgers made in the Northeast Hospital retail cafeterias. They are packed with plant proteins from the garbanzo beans, quinoa, and garbanzo bean flour. Each burger has 12 grams of protein and 10 grams of dietary fiber. It is recommended to eat a minimum of 25 grams of fiber per day for optimum health so certainly one burger will put you well on your way to meeting this daily goal. Hope you try these recipes at home so you can experience firsthand how simple they are to prepare. Look for all of the recipes prepared today on our Facebook page under the Healthy Recipes tab. Thank you again for viewing and stay tuned for future episodes of Men in Aprons.